Hello, welcome to Guru Grit. My name is Monica. I hope you enjoy being here. It's a place for learning. <laughs> Getting to learn how the world really works. About awareness. The dominant substance of our existence is our awareness. Something that makes no sense to try to quantify or <laughs> explain, but must be experienced to be understood and believed. So today I chose a particularly tricky topic, hopefully will help us on our learning journey, but it's a true one. It's a true one. I had a wonderful man message me and say he's gotten into some trouble and what to do. I also had previous viewers ask, how do you demanifest something? I don't want to live here anymore. I mean, I love my parents, but I want to move out. I mean. I had to move back home or I had to live with my ex. How do I demanifest it? I wanted to get married, I got married and I don't want to be married. How do you demanifest something? Okay, you can go watch the demanifestation video, but let's say something happened. Whether you intended it or not, it ha it's okay. It's okay, it has to be okay, it's where we are. And now you want to undo that. So. If you want to learn more about how to make things happen, da da da, you can watch videos on here. You can find me on TikTok. You can write to me, comment, whatever. If you like this, let me know and we'll keep going. We'll learn more as time goes on. I want to, starting off as like a soft introduction and <laughs> drip feeding, and we'll get into some real technical things and some other things as people ask them as time goes on. But for today, for now, what do you do if something comes to pass it's quite nasty so you can say i didn't intend it to happen but clearly your vibration matched up with that event so in this case a man wrote and said he was in some kind of event that involved vehicles so it was nasty and the other person you know took their insurance information and then he said they were very angry and a couple days later getting called from the insurers stressed me out so much I didn't know what to do and then got notice that they've been served they had a claim form so the person of course wanted to take them to court have a civil case and he's like my wife and I are just at our and we don't know what to do we can't afford it it was such a random it happened so fast da 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 how do you make it go away? It seems impossible. They're not gonna drop it, now the insurers know. What, what do you do? Now we have to get a lawyer, we got a lawyer. Every time you do something to make it better, it makes another left turn. So this is where a wonderful technique, try it, you have nothing to lose. I have tried it personally, it works amazing. It's called revision. It was taught by the amazing and ever-loved Neville Goddard. You could find thousands, I'm sure, thousands of examples on the internet of people who love Neville Goddard. That will give you testimony, no problem. So, here's what you do. I said to him, when you go to bed at night, Take a few breaths, so just a few seconds, just empty your mind, empty your mind, and relive that event in your mind, only this time the outcome is, the, is what you prefer it to be. So bang, okay, that happens, you get out of your car, that person gets out of the car, and they said to you, it's a long day, everyone's tired, it's the end of the week can happen to anyone. Sir, it can happen to anyone. I'm sorry, you're sorry, all right, let's leave it. Have a good day, see you, not a big deal. I, I'm glad you're not hurt, I'm not hurt. God bless you. <laughs> and try to just release it or fall asleep in that state. Over a week went by and he wrote in and he said, I did what you said, but I told my wife, my wife and I got into bed and we did that exact thing. There was no need to get insurers involved. No one was hurt. Thank, you know, thank God. And no lawyers. 
and we went to bed. And he said, we were so stressed about the finances, but you have to act as though it's done, so you have no reason to be stressed. He said, just went Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, to the end of the week. And he said, I had to write and tell you, we were notified by our lawyer that they dropped it and the insurance undid everything. They said, don't worry about it. Like it never happened. And he said, I'm so thankful. It costs nothing. It took 30 seconds and it's done. It's done. That's all it takes. So how I came to this, I was in a desperate situation. I was in like a do or die. I had no choice. I could, failure was not an option for me. I had to go to this event and succeed and like do well and everything. And I was so, so, so stressed. I tried preparing, I tried this. I heard a channeler who channeled Pleiadians on a walk, which I usually never listen to, but I just thought, okay, I'll just put something on. I'm, I'm walking all the time, every day, one, two hours, might as well do something other than music today. And they said, you can literally, in a sleep state, you know, project to a time and place that you want to be and figure out what's gonna happen and then help yourself in real time. I thought, oh my God, I have to figure this out. I have to figure this out. And of course, I didn't figure it out. So I was so stressed. I, I felt so powerless. I felt so this, that, the other. Day comes and goes, whatevs. I'm stressed and nervous, could barely speak, could barely think think, you know, overlooking simple instructions because I'm not myself. Total disaster. Calamity. Just, <laughs> just a disaster. Just a disaster. Oh my goodness. Emotional state, mental state. Everything that could have go wrong pretty much did go wrong. Like just awful. Like just no support. Nothing. Weeks later, I remembered a recording by Abraham Hicks when they said, when you are living in the flow, when you are living in the moment, you change your past. We're not kidding you. You change your past from your present moment. And I remember thinking, what lunacy is this? I'm willing to believe just about anything because I'm just like that. <laughs> I live in my own world anyways. But I, I, I tried to find that recording again because I remember hearing it years ago. And I thought, okay, so all that really means is from my present state, if I just feel confident that I did well, you know, I'm gonna get that job, I'm gonna catch that flight, everything's gonna work out, it will change no matter what happened, because circumstances don't matter, state of being matters. I will get the desired outcome against all odds. And when I say like no one really believed me, I mean literally not a soul. So except maybe my own soul, that was it. But that's all you need. You only need to believe in yourself. So this is before Neville's revision technique. I inadvertently did it. I inadvertently had done it. I relived the day. Everything went perfect for me that day. Could not be better. <laughs> and through a series of magical events, everything came together at the right time. I was notified, you know, that everything went well. I was well thought of, I performed very well and everything. And I was like, that's crazy. That's crazy. I just thought it was crazy. So it turns out it actually does work. You change the past from your present moment. You change the past from your present moment. Trust me, because the interesting thing is people always think what you do now will affect your future. That makes sense, you know? But then why can't it work both ways? What you do now, how you think now, how you feel now can also affect your past. And if you don't believe that, I use the celebrities as an example all the time. Think of how many of them have made poor decisions, <laughs> poor form, really, really not so moral, this, that, the other. But in the present moment, their dominant vibration is one of power, success, seriousness, and it's like the world has collective amnesia and they just don't, they don't bother them about those things. They're like, here's more money, here's more relevance, here's more influence, here's more power, here's more success, here's more fans, here's more fame. And they're like, yep, that's, yeah, of course, I expect nothing less. But you're no different, you could do the same thing. So if you were fired from five jobs and you're applying to your sixth, or you're working at your sixth, you just put yourself in that mental state that you always left on good terms, 
You're wanted wherever you are. You're celebrated wherever you are. You're competent. You're capable. And it rewires something in you. And then your external reality reflects it back to you so that you know that you're kind of untouchable. That doesn't touch you. That old vibration doesn't touch you. How it happens, I always say, is not your concern, is not your business. So don't worry about that. How it happens, don't try to meddle. Don't meddle. The divine has its own MO. It works on its own timing. It works, it has its own methods. Like my ways are greater than your ways. I have ways you know not of. So don't try to understand them. Our job is just to believe that we can have it. You bombed an interview, go home, relive it in your mind. You bombed on a date, go home, relive it on your mind. You went to the gym, you left after 15 minutes, you're supposed to be there for 40. Instead of sitting in your car beating yourself up, take 30 seconds, relive it. Just say, oh yeah, I was there for 40 minutes, I broke a sweat. Good, relive that event. Give it a try. Nothing to lose, it costs you nothing to try it. So, I hope it goes well for you. If there's anything you would like to undo, relive the event in your mind in the way that you wanted it to be and then drop it and let life just surprise you and delight you in the most amazing ways. So thank you so much for listening. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day and I hope you do as well. So thank you for being here. You can find me on TikTok. Stay tuned here. Feel free to ask me questions. I look forward to doing more book reviews. I'm having so much fun digging through my old bookshelves and all my old stuff. So <laughs> it's been so nice. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I wish you all the best. Until next time. Bye-bye.